and me once again in this video I'm just going to give you some patio ideas and what we are doing and give you some help so maybe you'll kind of get an idea what you might want to do or not do but um, this video is just going to kind of show you this has been a long time coming plan should have been done long ago it's been about four years with just dirt here I've just been keeping roundup on and killing the grass that was our plywood sidewalk that I made but we're getting tired of that and tired of the mud so when we finally try to do this project I was going to do it myself and put down pavers but the area is so big and I just don't have the time or the equipment that to do it exactly right and I would rather just do it perfect because if you mess with pavers and you get them you think you got it straight. If your ground's not solid and you don't do everything right, then you don't want to be a year or two from now or five years in the paver, the ground starts settling and the pavers start getting uneven. That would be really bad. You paid all the money for the pavers and it's not working. And from what I understand, concrete is not, may even be cheaper than pavers unless you're doing really cheap grade pavers and doing it yourself because labor is a lot of the money in that. But that's why we decided to go ahead and do, we finally decided to do concrete. She wanted stamped concrete, but the price of that is pretty outrageous. So if you got the money for it, depends on what your budget for the plan is and how big your pet is. We have a big area. So we finally decided to just do pour concrete. We're going to get a ton of color in the concrete. There's tons of colors to choose from. And I'll show you the color chart and I'll probably put it in the description on what color we choose so that I'll give you an idea if you are going to color route just an alternative to the stamp. But we are going to do stamped border on the concrete, which means the whole edge of the concrete coming out will be like a probably like a one foot divider strip and it'll be stamped concrete on that area. So that'd be exciting to see. I'm just kind of, I'll show you a few videos every now and then, but I'm not going to be doing this project too big for me. But what we we'll decide, I think we're going to come off our basement well area, concrete area. We're going to come out three foot from there. That's what those flags are representing. So it's going to be a three foot little area way there. And then we're going to come off of that. And all the way around, it's going to be concrete. And what we decided, we're going to do a little, just a little arch into the yard. See how the flags arch out? So I think it's going to give a little contour, a little shape to it. Make it look really nice. And not decided what I'm going to do with these dirt spots yet. So once the concrete slab gets down and gets straight leveled, then I got a lot of planning to do on a lot of walls and stuff. But that's just an idea. And gives you an idea. I'm keeping this little section here. I'm coming seven foot off the corner to the edge, and then I'm gonna come seven foot this way, so it's the exact corner here. Because I got my sewer pipe there, and I really don't want that in the concrete, so that's gonna be a stone wall. I'm gonna try to build here. I'll be doing all that myself, and a lot of the dirt work and uh, shrubbery and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be an interesting, big project for me. But mainly just wanted you guys give you some ideas because everybody's ideas help. So and then we got elevation issue there. Steps are gonna to be tore down. I'm gonna be rebuilding those back and gotta figure out what to do to cover up under the porch and how much of this dirt's gonna be coming out. So this is not a simple project. And once I get in here with the equipment leveled all out, I think that'll kinda of help see everything else but i'll probably shoot another video once they get in and get the dirt moving some and then kind of show you a little steps here and there through the process so kind of help you out as much as i can all right guys this is where we're at now guys came today and kind of roughed it all in and framed out for the concrete put the concrete forms up um just giving you an update took the steps off and we got three foot out in front of the walkway here, but the grade level we had to raise up. So we're going to have a step down into the concrete here at the basement stairwell. 
and they drilled holes all in the foundation for some rebar to support the concrete up against the house just in case that dirt is soft from the backfill on the basement foundation and as you can see we came out and we came straight out here and we have a curve in the patio it's going to go all the way down so you can kind of tell where it's going to be sitting at and it's going to we left that one little block up there I'm going to put a little retaining wall there I'm going to build a little wall out of stone and we're going to have to fence in under the porch here to kind of cover the dirt area so that's all the work I got to do and build new steps as soon as the concrete gets done so I got a lot of work to do once they get done but I'm just trying to keep you updated this should be poured I think tomorrow so we'll have some more video on the, we went went with the desert tan Solomon concrete paint color it's gonna be mixed in two to mix so that's gonna be the mixture and then we're gonna have stamp border I think it's nine inches a border all the way around the concrete and it's gonna be stamped and it's gonna have a black release in it so it should turn out right nice but we'll get some more video later sorry I'm late getting this video but I just got in from work and the guys are finished pouring and everything there's the border stamp border all the way around and this is the Solomon color desert tan so I'll get a better video tomorrow in the sunlight or sometime in the sunlight they still have to come back tomorrow strip off the forms and cut into concrete lines and they're going to seal the whole patio so it'll give it that more of a glossy look and he's going to do some more a different color on the border here but this gives you a good idea of just the raw concrete look here now but it's pretty good size area turned out very nice then i got to get busy building steps and the wall on that corner over there and but that's what it looks like uh, i'll get another video after they get everything else done and sealed and everything just to give you a better idea all right guys this is an updated video of the concrete is done i still got backfill around the edge here put some grass seed down power wash and build that wall over there but i got the steps up and i just power washed it so that's why it's wet but um this is kind of the final product and it gives you an idea i stamped concrete on the edge it's a little bit darker border and that is the complete project so hope that helps you out it gives you some ideas uh, also underneath the porch I dug it out and put some brown gravel in there some big river rock to help with the drainage of dirt coming back on the patio and I built the steps with the um, composite decking board so that gives you some patio ideas hope it helps you out don't forget to like the video and subscribe